Welcome to the hottest movie review on the internet today, The A-List Review. I'm your host, the Game Changer, Wes Troop, and it's time to go back to the couch, because this is a film that is streaming on Netflix and also playing in certain theaters. This is a film directed by David Fincher and stars Michael Fassbender. My review of the 2023 crime thriller, The Killer, coming up now. An unnamed, skilled assassin on his latest mission has a fateful near miss on his target in a Parisian hotel room. After successfully evading the police and returning to one of his hideout homes in the Dominican Republic, he discovers his girlfriend has been attacked. The killer then goes on a journey of revenge and confronts the figures he suspects to be involved in the attack. So what did I think of The Killer? I thought it's a slick and intriguing crime thriller. It's based on a French graphic novel series of the same name by Alexis Matz Nolant and Luc Jacquemont. The film is directed by David Fincher, best known for directing films such as Seven, The Game, Fight Club, Zodiac, The Curious Case of Benjamin Button, The Social Network, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, Gone Girl, and Mank. Of course, with Fincher behind the project, it's very stylish and has cool camera work and atmosphere. It's a rather simple revenge tale, showcasing material we've seen time and time again, but Fincher in the performance by Fassbender elevates it. The opening scene gives us a cool introduction to the killer, showing us he's cold-hearted, methodical, and is meticulous with his effective process. It also introduces us to the character's running monologue as he narrates his thought process through the whole film, which can certainly get repetitive at times. We see the killer traveling from target to target, which can be intense, and we quickly learn that it will probably not end well for the person he's paying a visit to. The scene featuring Tilda Swinton is certainly a standout. While not heavy on action, there's a couple of exciting sequences. It's also not afraid to get bloody or gory at times either. The film is suspenseful and had me on edge multiple times, and I found myself always invested in what was going on. There are a few humorous moments throughout, and I got a kick out of the killer using different old sitcom characters' names as his aliases. I will say it's a little bit hard to root for the killer, as he's not exactly likable, but very few of his targets are either. Something that oddly stuck out here was its product placement, as it feels quite out of place, from the killer ordering packages from Amazon to make weapons, or going to McDonald's and even talking about how it's in his routine. While the ending of the film has become divisive among many viewers, I thought it was fine. The score by Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross is yet another great pairing, and fans of the English rock band The Smiths will be happy as their songs are heavily featured here. Michael Fassbender stars as the killer, a professional assassin on a mission of his own, Tilda Swinton as the expert, a fellow assassin living in New York, Charles Parnell as the lawyer, the killer's handler posing as a lawyer, and Arliss Howard as the client, a billionaire businessman. While not another Fincher masterpiece per se, the killer is a smart, stylish thriller that's always entertaining. Number-wise, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10, which gives it the A-list rating of Do It, and a high Do It at That. All right, well, that's the show. I'll be back with another review very soon. But until then, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe right here on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Westside of 515. Like the show on Facebook, Facebook.com slash West Troop A List. And of course, you can follow me on the X, Instagram, and Letterboxd at West A List. Until next time. Troop. Out.